Wednesday's workout centers around two movements, the power clean and push jerk, and the lateral barbell burpees. We'll start the class by spending 10 minutes to practice the clean and jerk, or to build to a moderately heavy rep. In the workout, we're gonna have some intervals. At the zero marker, we're gonna do one round, 30 lateral barbell burpees, 30 power clean and jerks. At five minutes, we're starting part two, two rounds of 15 lateral burpees, 15 power clean and jerks. And then at 10 minutes, we're starting part three, three rounds of 10 lateral burpees, 10 clean and jerks. The weight on this barbell should be very light in the workout so that you can stay moving large unbroken sets throughout the workout. The power clean and jerk has the hands a little bit wider than the thighs. We're going to bring the chest up, tighten the core, jump the barbell to the shoulder, re-dip, and then jump overhead as we push under the bar. Notice we re-bend the hips and knees to catch the power clean, re-dip the hips and knees as we catch the bar overhead. That is the push jerk. When we're building up to a heavy load, you can pause on the shoulder, take a couple breaths before jumping overhead. In the workout, since we're gonna be doing faster, lighter reps, recommend as soon as that bar hits the shoulder in the power clean position, you immediately pop the hips and drive the bar overhead. That's less time under tension. If you feel comfortable on the descent, you can go down to the floor in one smooth motion rather than bringing the barbell back to the shoulder, back to the hips, and back to the floor. So that'll help you save a little bit of time if you can control it efficiently descending. For the lateral barbell burpee, turn sideways, chest to floor. There's no requirement to stand up tall or open the hips at the top. So you can stay crouched over, staying closer to the floor, jump laterally up and over that bar. If you need a scale, you can step up and over that bar. 